What's up everybody, James Jackson here, back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, I do tips, tricks, news, and reviews for the film and video making industry. So if you do like the content here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can stay up to date on all the content going forth. And also make sure to hit the likes. The likes help out with the algorithm. So, and also if you, got, if you do again, love the channel, please share this video and share the contents of this channel to other people so people can get more uh, noticed out of this channel as well. I was getting ready to go off, go to bed yesterday, and then uh, I got this news about Atomos making this big announcement of a new recorder. And but and while I could talk about the recorder itself, honestly, I feel like I would just be repeating a lot of things some other people have already discussed with this um, new um, Atomos Ninja recorder. Uh, if you so if you want an overview of the recorder itself in totality, which is the Atomos Ninja Plus, as well as there's a new one as well called the Atomos Stream, I would definitely say go check out Carl and Pro AV TV. They do a wonderful coverage of the announcement. I am here today instead to talk about the other announcement that sort of is just was like slightly stepped aside. And especially for someone like me who is an R5 user, uh, I'm going to be coming this from an R5 user about this little subtle no nugget that was put in the announcement as well, which is that later this year, apparently the Canon R5 with the Atomos Ninja Plus will be getting ProRes RAW and it will be able to shoot 8k 30 prores raw but it doesn't necessarily mean i'm going to get this uh recorder for one it's almost three times the price as the original animals ninja 5 so but it does make sense this is recording a lot 8k raw so it does in a way make sense to sort of justify it and the cameras that will be using this device are definitely on the more higher end. These are not consumer grade cameras that are really going to be utilizing the full potential of this device. So I get it, but it's still a giant, I, I can see a lot of people will be taking a step back for it. When I first read this, I was like, this must be a joke because I'm pretty sure this is impossible, but I read it again and it, uh, it is definitely possible. Atomos and Canon are delighted to be bringing customers a world first for capturing stunning, pristine 8K images with such an affordable, capable, and compact camera system. This will be a true game-changing in content creation Coupled with the power proven full frame Canon EOS R5, the combination will prepare content creators to a whole new level of production values in order to activate these capabilities. A firmware update is needed coming later in 2021. Now, let's be clear, this is only coming from Atomos at this point in time. Canon has not said anything about this, but I also don't believe Atomos would make such a statement if they didn't, if, well, if this wasn't true, first of all, Canon will be coming down uh, legally about this if this wasn't true. So this is definitely true. I, I, I'm really shocked. It's like, so it is going to be coming with 8K RAW, which is kind of surprising because initially it only looked like you could only do 8K RAW through SDI, but it's saying that, well, the R5 is going to be the first of the mirrorless cameras to be able to use this 8K RAW from Atomos. Uh, from Atomos. And obviously it's only HDMI, so does that mean that the port on the HDMI is fast enough to do 8K raw recording? Which I didn't honestly think it was fast enough, uh, especially, I, I, in fact, I didn't even think HDMI 2.0 was fast enough. We shall see. I don't know if there's any other um, electronic connection with that it's gonna be connecting, because I'm really curious to see how this is work. Because if they do pull this off, this is still a big deal, and this could potentially open the doors for other things. Could this mean then that something like the Canon C70 could get ProRes RAW in the near future? This is, again, now this has opened up some very intriguing possibilities. Though, I will say this, I personally will not use ProRes RAW because 
Unfortunately, and this is really only a personal issue. It's nothing for me against Pro Res Raw. Personally, even though, though I feel like there's a lot, um, there's a lot more other Raw options that give you a bit more control than Apple does. Um, but at the same time, you know, it, it's there. So I can't argue with that. And also for the simple fact that I am a DaVinci Resolve I work exclusively in DaVinci Resolve. I don't, I left Premiere and I have no, zero interest in working in Final Cut. I don't like the workflow of Final Cut and I couldn't stand the clunkiness of Premiere. Like I even tried to get back in it like a, a month or so back and like the first like three minutes I immediately realized why I didn't like Premiere. And uh, so yeah, I have no interest of go, doing any of those other um, post-production softwares. So. Until Black Magic and Animals, you know, settle whatever little thing that they may be having with each other where they're not supporting each other's codec. Unfortunately, I got to pass on Pro, uh, on Pro as Raw. So, but hopefully that does get settled in the future. But this does open up the possibility of now saying, okay, well, if clearly, uh, if Animals has found a way to to do 8k raw through the hdmi then does this mean now that this is possibly a point for black magic as well where they could start using 8k raw recording so now you got to look at it like does this mean black magic raw is going to could possibly come to the r5 as well now that is when this would get very very interesting and if that is the case again the domino effect does this mean that the C70 could potentially get, like if the C70 for, gets any sort of raw, whether it's ProRes raw or Blackmagic raw, but especially Blackmagic raw. If it gets Blackmagic raw, oh my gosh, good night, Irene. The game is over. It's done. It's done. Oh, a 12-bit raw codec. That's literally the only thing this camera is really missing. I know some people see it's full frame. I still big on Super 35, but I'm digressing. Anyways, I'm really excited about this, but damn, is it pricey. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about this announcement? If you're, if you're an R5 user, uh, this, this entice you enough to give the new recorder a try? Let me know. Leave a comment below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.